Heritage Foundation and today I want to talk to you about the Leiden jar battery and Leiden jar is actually in fact a capacitor. We still have them today but when you look at electronic equipment they would have something like this but on a much much smaller scale and looking very very different to what this looks like. In the mid 18th century you had scientists or natural philosophers as they were called then who were very interested in electricity and in around the 1740s, two separate people created what's called the Leiden jar, what we know today as the Leiden jar, and it was a way of storing electric charge. One of the inventor, when he first created the Leiden jar, of course he tried it on himself and he thought basically that he was done for, that the charge was just so strong uh, that it gave him this massive shock. And of course everybody in Europe and America uh, went on to build their own Leiden jars because they're fairly simple to build. At the time, they were just glass jars. You could um, hammer a nail in through the top and you'd have some water in it and you'd have some foil. And you would store quite a reasonable amount of electric charge, enough to give someone a good shock, even enough to give people nosebleeds at the time or make them think they were having a heart attack or something like that. People would sometimes electrify the knives and forks that they would set at a dinner table and when guests picked up a knife or a fork they would have a shock. A French physicist uh, used Leiden jars to electrify a whole group of the French king's soldiers and they would jump up and down in sequence for the amusement of the king. Benjamin Franklin with his famous kite experiment used a Leiden jar to show that lightning was basically ordinary electricity. Uh, and electricity at that time was this very, very mysterious substance. Nobody knew quite what it was. And the Leiden jar was a way of really trying to figure out what electricity was and doing different things with it. So when you'd put Leiden jars together, like in this case, you would call them Leiden jar battery. Uh, and the one we have here actually dates from around the early 1900s. And it probably, was probably used for teaching purposes rather than in a laboratory or anything like that. So while the Leiden jar was used to store electricity, no one actually ever managed to figure out what electricity exactly was in the 18th century. It took the invention of the battery by Alexandra Volta for people to finally learn um, what electricity was and how electricity could be produced. You can see these Leiden jars at the Chemical Heritage Foundation Museum in Philadelphia. I'm Mikhail Meyer and thanks for watching.